I'm Jaap Murren, I'm a memory psychologist, and this video I will start with a little animation that lasts about a minute, uh, showing a typical situation that often occurs in practice, in business, in academia, uh, in, in, in stores, in sales, uh, anywhere. Just look at it and see what you think. I just heard a great presentation, and I am now going to talk to the speaker. Hi, what can I do for you? I am Alesh Grafenhoff. I was very impressed with your presentation and was wondering whether you have the capacity to scale up production in a short time. In our merger with Zoover Zoover, we have acquired an entire chain of mini bodegas and would like to use your new coffee making method to infuse some new elements into these businesses. Your coffee maker seems ideal, but as I said, we would need many machines in a very short time. Could you do that? I am pretty sure we can do this. Our Italian factory should be able to expand production, but we would have to talk about exactly which type you want to purchase, how many, and in what time frame. And would the baristas need additional training? I am sorry I have to take this. Please send me an email about this. I am in the list of conference members. That was great. But now I really can't remember his name. So do you recognize that situation? You talk to somebody, they introduce themselves, maybe you introduce yourself, you start talking, especially when the stakes are high, like here, you know, big sale, that's important to the, uh, the speaker. And so, you know, um, they're both so concentrated on, you know, getting the deal done, basically, or at least laying the groundwork for that, that they uh, forget that the, the one person, uh, the speaker in this case, who's like an animated version of me, sort of. Um, yeah, what was his name? And um, do you remember the name? So what can you do to avoid that? So the reason that you are forgetting the name so quickly is that shorter memory is astonishingly short. We're talking like 15 seconds, maybe even less, sometimes a little bit more, depends on the situation. I explain everything in depth, if you're interested, uh, in a linked video that I'll link below and at the end of this, this one. That's not really important for now. The, the important thing is that to know that short-term memory is super short, 15 seconds, maybe a little more, but there is a way to um, remedy, counteract that very short-term uh, forgetting. And one of the ways is to try to lengthen the time that you mentally spend on that name. So if the person introduces himself or herself, uh, find a way to uh, linger on that by either saying something about the name, repeating the name, uh, or in your mind, remember, remember to repeat it a couple of times, even re repeating it like three times, which takes about three seconds, and say, uh, will already uh, reduce the forgetting with more than 50%. So there's a, like then a 70% chance you will know it after a while. Um, another way is to work the name into the conversation. So as you speak with the person, um, try to say, uh, well, uh, Alesh, that's very interesting, or well, uh, Mr. Uh, Grafenhoff, that was very interesting that you have that, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So you, you, you do something with that. Even better would be if you have a chance, not always that's possible or appropriate, to uh, actually say something about the name. So, oh, Alex, is that a Hungarian name? Is that, uh, are you, or Grafenhof, uh, do you have your know, German roots? Uh, things like that. Um, so that is sometimes appropriate to do, not always. And if you do that, that is a tremendous help in remembering the name yourself. Now, in many cases, it's, it feels awkward to keep repeating that name. You can't say, well, uh, Mr. Grafenhof, it's very nice uh, to make your acquaintance, Mr. Grafenhof. I mean, that sounds very odd. Uh, but you can uh, actually do that just in your mind. without. So you don't actually say it out loud, but in your mind, you, you repeat that name a few times. And if you make a habit of that, it makes it a little more easier, a little easier to actually um, hold on to that piece of information. You can do it with everything, not just names, but also prices or uh, other facts, locations, depends on your uh, personal interests. 
So uh, let's look at the video again and see whether um, the speaker, i.e. me, in this case is a little more successful in uh, remembering the name and following up on the uh, business opportunity here. I just heard a great presentation and I am now going to talk to the speaker. Hi, what can I do for you? I am Alesh Grafenhoff. I was very impressed with your presentation and was wondering whether you have the capacity to scale up production in a short time. That is really great, Mr. Grafenhoff. Tell me more. In our merger with Zoover Zoover, we have acquired an entire chain of mini bodegas and would like to use your new coffee making method to infuse some new elements into these businesses. I am pretty sure we can do this, Mr. Grafenhoff. Your coffee maker seems ideal, but as I said, we would need many machines in a very short time. Could you do that? Our Italian factory should be able to expand production, but we would have to talk about exactly which type you want to purchase, how many, and in what time frame. And, Mr. Grafenhoff, would the baristas need additional training? I am sorry, I have to take this. Please send me an email about this. I am in the list of conference members. That was great. I will find Mr. Grafenhoff in the list of conference members and send him an email to follow up. As you saw here, he was obviously more successful and, and these things really uh, can help you. It will take a little bit of um, practice to, to do this because you're not naturally inclined to do it. And why not? Because people simply don't realize how quickly they actually forget if they don't rehearse, if they don't mentally keep occupied with that fact, that with that piece of information, because they move on to a new piece of information, another and another. And as you do that, you cannot trust your memory to store that because it will just fade away quickly unless you do something with it and you spend a few seconds on it at the very least, not just like the one and a half seconds, but maybe three seconds, five seconds. And it's even better if you can repeat it a couple of times. And you can do that also for the second bit of information that was in there, like, uh, for example, the name of his uh, chain uh, with which he merged, that kind of thing. Um, and so that works in the end. Uh, as I said, I, there is uh, an in-depth sort of re look into the research behind this, how to discover that. And there's even an experiment where you can try the, the uh, basic research a little bit for yourself. It only takes a few minutes. And um, if you're interested, you can click on those links below or at the end of this video and uh, hopefully uh, enjoy doing that.